very confident people, very solid leaders, including a bishop in between. So, Asante Sana. So, and, and that's what, I think, that's what a father who is ready to uh, work in the family, take the children to school, bring them back home, that's what you get, very solid uh, families. So, Pongezi Sana, I needed to say that about David. Hata uh, ingawaje si kukutana na ye sana, lakini yale mambo amefanya, bring up a family, look after the children, allow your wife to go, be a leader, and also unite people. Um, so, Pongezi, nataka ni muambie charity, although uh, your husband has left, um, be strong, he was there for you, and God will be there for you going forward. Mungu wata kusaidia, wewe na familia yako, na mimi ni naamini watu wanjoro watasimama na wewe. Na sisi zote, kama marafiki wako, kama viongozi wenzako, tutasimama na wewe, ili tuwakikisha kwamba njoro inasonga mbele na nakuru inaenda mbele. Nataka vile vile niseme wewe kama kiongozi mmoja wa Nakuru County. Vile Deputy President alisema hii Nakuru ilikuwa ni mahali ambapo palikuwa na majaribio mengi ya uchochezi na ukabila na siasa chafu ya kujaribu kupiganisha watu. Lakini I must commend the leaders in Nakuru County. Charity being one of them. Pongezi viongozi wa Nakuru, wananchi wa Nakuru kwa kusimama imara na kukataa siasa ya ukabila na siasa ya kuharibu amani katika taifa letu la Kenya. We are so so proud of Nakuru County. Na mimi nataka niwahakikishie muko katikati ya mipango yetu vile tulikutana wiki iliyopita vile tumepanga pamoja na nyinyi na tutazidi kushughulikia yale mambo ambayo mumetu eh, mumetuitisha vile waziri wetu wa, bar, eh, wa, wa wa mashamba amesema ambaye ni mtu kutoka Nakuru County hapa mambo yenu ya caveat ni kazi yetu tutatatua i want to confirm to you na tumesema kwa vyo vyote nimeambia wale watu wale tupeleka kwa hiyo maneno ya kwamba wasipokubali tusuluishe hiyo maneno kuna vile tutafanya we, we, on this one we are not ready to negotiate wale watu uh, ile koti iko pale tumewaambia maneno yetu vizuri na kwa heshima pia na waheshimu ile kazi tunataka kufanya so nimepatia huyu waziri uh, wangu wa mambo ya mashamba mwaka moja hiyo mambo ya kavya tuwe tumemaliza so that watu wanakuru waweze kusonga mbele vile vile nilitangaza wakati nilikuwa nakuru hapa ya kwamba ile matatizo ambayo tulikuwa nayo ya e, mambo ya misitu ile e, kavya ilikuwa imewekwa tumeiondoa ili tuendelee na kupata products kutoka kwa misitu yetu lakini kwa njia ya taratibu na njia ya uangalifu mimi nataka niseme without fear of any contradiction what we have the decision we made is that we are going to use our forest products responsibly we are not going to allow uh, our forest products to rot in the forest when we can use them to grow our economy and that is why we've made the decision that we are not going to be importing furniture for example we are going to be making furniture from our own products here but we are going to do it in such a manner that it is sustainable it is profitable and it also looks after the environment hapa nakuru sehemu yenu ya kupanda miti hapa nakuru mpango yetu ni kupanda miti milioni 700 <coughs> milioni 700 na 50 target ya watu wa nakuru 
ili tuhakikisha kwamba tunaongeza sehemu ya misingi